to the Internet Space Program. Ooh, okay, well, um, I don't see any more typing in the uh, progress updates channel, so I guess we can get a start here. Um, I put two items on the agenda, and I'm actually realizing now that um, we should probably inverse them because I think that, um, well, actually, you know what, it, it actually doesn't matter. Uh, but but I'd still like to just get this this first one out of the way. So uh, basically, um, I'd like to have the Senate vote. Oh, and, uh, sorry, I should probably start by saying that um, Pablo won't actually be here today. He's he's on a flight right now. He had a bit of a family emergency. Um, so um, yeah, we'll be we'll be doing this one without him. Um, but we still have enough here to to reach quorum for. Uh, for a vote. And so uh, something that we kind of need to decide uh, that wasn't fully outlined in the uh, Projects V5 documentation was exactly when uh, some of the rules and, and new terms come into effect. Um, so there's uh, a few big changes. Um, well, there's three, basically. There's um, the rules, new rules for uh, moon settlers in terms of leaving weekly progress updates uh, and the same for Senate members in terms of um, the same weekly progress updates, but also uh, their attendance and voting. Um, and so, um, I'm sorry, and also the third thing is that the retroactive rewards calculation has changed. And so the question at hand is basically, um, do we want those things to be applied for this term, like Q1 2024? Uh, or do we want that to just apply basically next quarter? Um, I'd argue that we shouldn't even really consider. We should just apply the, the rules for moon settlers and rocketeers for next quarter, I think it's kind of late in the game to kind of just spring that on people. And so I think the real vote should just be um, whether we want to move forward right now with the rewards calculation, um, <clears throat> which just as a reminder, the change there is that instead of subtracting MVPs from the full amount uh, that the, the Rocketeer would receive, that quarter, we're only subtracting it on a project basis. Um, so yeah, I'll just like open the floor up, I guess, if anyone has any inputs or opinions on that before we, we vote on it. I agree. I don't think we should consider the, um, the, the punishment ones where people didn't do the progress reports and all that. They'll get dinged on their retroactives. So. Um, we retroactively do that and just consider, consider the changes to the um, total amount that they can get or whether it's deducted on a project basis or a total. Cool, okay. Um, any other questions or anything before I, because I can just throw this up right now. No, oh, okay, cool. I just uh, I just posted it so we get everyone's votes in. Cool. Okay, let me close this up. Um, okay, it looks like uh, someone maybe is having an issue. I think we need to get to the bottom of this because this was happening last week too. Um, so it, we got 
four votes, um, all for yes. So I assume it's going to be a, a pass, but that's not quite quorum. Um, and so we need to figure out who voted here. Um, ben, did you? Uh, I, I well, I guess I'm just calling you out because you're the newest to it. Um, do you have a message from the bot? I definitely press A, and it changed from one to two. Okay. If I saw a, a message pop up, oh, easy poll, March twenty-eighth. Yeah, your vote was counted under easy okay. poll. But, and you didn't double click it again, and then it. <laughs> I did it. double click it again when you said that. Um, oh, okay. after I said it though. Okay. Yeah, after you said you, it. You know what? I think it might have been me actually. I think maybe I messed up because I don't have my thing from easy poll. Um. Yeah, sorry guys. I think it was me, <laughs> actually. I was the uh, culprit last time, I think, or the first time of last time. But, but yeah, this one it looks like it did. Okay. Yeah. Sorry guys. It was me. On the record. Um, <laughs> pardon. Sorry. You want to vote on the record here then? Honestly, yeah. And yeah, I voted yes. So okay. we're good. Well, it, that's quorum. It's this passed. So. Um, yeah, basically, that means that this quarter we will be subtracting MVPs on a project basis, uh, not on the on the whole rewards. Cool. Um, so yeah, the next thing on the agenda is the uh, executive branch funding proposal. I don't, sorry, I don't have the exact name. It just exact. I guess it's just called executive branch proposal. Um, Pablo meant to be here to present it, but like I said, he had a bit of a family emergency. So he recorded a message, um, just like a pre-recorded message. Uh, I'm gonna post a link here uh, in the chat so everyone can check out the proposal. And um, I'm just going to play the message here from Pablo. Just give me one moment. Um, I'll try and share my screen here too in a sec. Um, okay, here we go. Um, just interrupt me if there's any problems here and I'll pause it. Hey guys, uh, sorry I can't be there um, in real time. Head up. Oh shoot. Um, looks like I won't be able to share my screen. I don't think I can jump out of this window where I'm pay, playing <laughs> the message from Pablo while sharing my screen at the same time. So yeah, if you guys could just open up the doc and uh, and check that out. Um, and yeah, I'll play this message, sorry. Hey guys, uh, sorry I can't be there um, in real time. I had a family emergency, so I've got to fly out. So I'm uh, currently in the air as you guys are listening to this. Um, I thought I'd something to talk about the EB proposal. Um, so it looks a lot like the EB proposal from eight months ago. The key differences uh, are basically incorporating in the webmaster. Uh, so Colin's uh, project in the last quarter to basically support uh, servers and maintenance of all of our uh, websites, etc. Um, and then also uh, it incorporates uh, Ryan's newsletter into the uh, uh, communications lead role. So uh, that day was bumped up a, a little bit too. Um, yeah, it's a one-year budget to so be in line with the constitutional uh, amendment to make astronaut terms three years to where we elect a new astronaut every year. And uh, also sets a budget for the second astronaut, which would be elected on August 1st. So. Um, yeah, those are the big differences. Uh, hey, um, another change is, is also an increase in the incentives for treasury growth and income. So up from 1% to 2% uh, for total treasury growth, and up from 5% uh, to 10% for income. Basically, the reason behind this is to add up your carrot for the Whole team, and then also expanding those rewards to be for the whole team, not just uh, 
for, for the astronaut. Um, and also we'll have two astronauts now, so it just makes sense to increase that reward, I think. Yeah. Ultimately, though, yeah, the, the amount of spend is, is going to be pretty much the same as we have been spending. It's just incorporating the newsletter and the webmaster into the executive branch. Since those are pretty, you know, recurring needs, and then uh, just adding a budget for the second instrument. So, yeah, uh, the budget also includes a flex expense. So, this is this was a really really useful uh, budget. Help support a bunch of different projects in the last eight months. So, basically, the the sweepstakes and a few other projects support. So able to take from the flex budget having some amount of kind of like flexible discretionary spending really helps uh, speed things up there's always going to be unexpected things that come up lastly uh, there's a 1k budget it's just for paying recurring subscriptions uh, i think right now we're we're around like 500 dollars a month and just all of our subscriptions that we have uh, which is pretty lean uh, we might have more, so just there's a little bit of buffer there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, is there any questions? Uh, please point them to Ryan and Mitchie. I think they can talk. Uh, they, they know a lot about this proposal, and they should be able to answer most questions. So yeah, one, one potentially confusing thing is that we are budgeting for one year, but the second astronaut won't be elected until three months in. And, uh, so that's staggered. The reason behind that is that uh, then it'd be like a one year term for my astronaut role, and then if the next astronaut would serve for a, you know, or, or be elected every year after that. So it just makes it so that uh, we're not kind of awkward eight months phase, and then we switch over to a one year. It's just a little bit cleaner this way, and also gives us a little bit more time to, uh, uh, you know, think deeply about who the, the next uh, astronaut will be. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to doing that election process uh, um, late July into August. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, thanks, guys. Cool. So everyone, uh, cut that. I hope the audio quality wasn't too terrible. <laughs> it was a little uh, shaky in and out. I don't know if that was just for he was recording it at the airport, but yeah. I think yeah. It didn't sound worse that. than calling in from a, a cell phone or anything. I thought the audio was fine. Cool, okay. Um so yeah, does anyone have any any questions? What what are the start and end uh, times for the Moondow fiscal year? Um, so January. Be, basically, the start would be from like Q two, twenty twenty four, to uh, to Q one, twenty twenty five. Although, wait, um, the, uh, sorry, one second. I'm so bad with dates. <laughs> Ryan, you might be better at, at answering this question. Yeah, it'd be just, um, just April 1st to, to March 31st, so it's a 12 month budget. And basically, yeah, starting, starting at the beginning of April, it goes 12 months. I did uh, leave some corrections in the doc. I think that we should actually be accounting for astronaut two for eight months, just like we did the first time around, not, not nine months. And 
Also, there was a discrepancy there in the max budget because we calculated the second astronaut as 12 months, so it's like 20,000 less we have right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing your comments here right now. Um, dang, it kind of makes, I wish Pablo was here to, you know, be the one to, to sign off on, on some of these changes. I'm not really comfortable doing that, you know, just making these changes and then putting it up to vote. Um, what do you think? How should we, how do we handle this? Do you, should we actually just like hold off on voting wait until these changes are addressed because um yeah what do you guys think anybody wants to check in light of the, the fiscal year starting on april 1st that will be before that April 1st will come for the next town hall. So I, I don't know the answer to your question, but I wanted to bring that up in case it matters. Yeah, I think we would just basically be applying it retroactively if we were to move forward, you know, because obviously it does extend past August 1st or April 1st. Um, and I don't know, I don't think that's problematic because I think even last, we were basically applying it a few weeks retroactively. Yeah, I mean, with the, with Llama Pay or whatever, you can just set, you can backdate it. So it would just be like a, a certain amount becomes available no matter whether we actually get the streaming payment set up on April 1st or April 10th or yeah um yeah I don't I uh, I personally think maybe we should hold off on voting just with these you know these changes coming in that haven't been addressed yet um I mean I think it's important these are things that affect the, the overall budget. Um, oh. If if they're small enough and they can be changed easily, and you think Pablo will be aligned with them, then I'm I'm fine voting with them now. Um, but if you want to move on and rebring it up, then I'm in line with that too. I think we could vote on it as is, but not post a snapshot until we've confirmed, because in any case, the budget would go lower than what it is, not higher. So it's not like we'd be increasing it after the fact. Yeah, I guess that's true. If, um... Wait, so you're saying that with these changes, the budget would just be lower, right? Yeah, it should be uh, 50 or $20,000 lower, I mean. Okay. It's like uh, I mean, a couple months that we're being accounted for the second astronaut's salary that shouldn't be there. So in any case, it won't go up. I mean, I think we can vote on it as is, but not post it to snapshot until the document is actually finalized and knowing that it will be lower be equal or lower than what it is right okay yeah i think that makes sense um if everyone else is okay with that too then i think we can go ahead and run it. give me one second here
I usually have these things queued up in advance, but um wasn't able to because I was playing that clip from Pablo. So it'll just take me a sec. Oh, well, it's up there. Dang, that was fast. Wait one sec. Did you vote, Mitchy? I did. I actually voted this time. <laughs> okay, cool. Looks like it passed. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll confirm with Pablo about those changes. Um, but whether they get made or not, it'll be going up to to snapshot. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We can move on to the the town hall or sorry, the open floor. Um, we bring up the agenda. So we don't have Pablo here. Um, to do his, but I guess that makes Brian you first with the uh, Zero G and Vitalia updates. I guess really it's since it's so close, we can mostly just talk about where we are in terms of like the final reports and stuff as well. But, cool. but yeah, Ryan, I'll let you go with it. Cool. So major updates with Zero G. We were able to sync up with Christina about some of the revenue and expenses there. Um, on her end, we're just still waiting to sync up with the Zero, Dra Zero Gravity Corporation and those numbers. Um, else with Alia, things are basically as is. They're still, they've got most everything set up based there. They're trying to do a, like a print uh, prosthetic leg or the uh, the fit for a prosthetic leg for someone there, so that's kind of one of their big uh, milestones that they're gonna do first thing with the uh, thing with the makerspace. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get those final reports in. Um, it, so, is the uh, Vitalia final report going in this quarter too? Hopefully, they're, they've started working on it. So, just gotta okay, cool. finalist. Cool. Um, great. Next, it would be Bill with the space time protocol and these high CVs. Yeah. Um, I put this in the, the progress update, but just quickly on space time stuff. I met with RIT. Um, they're really excited about the potential to, to do this as a project. Open Lunar has given their verbal, uh, not a, quite a letter of intent, but like a Hey, let's keep going. And we are, you know, as long as we cross the T's, dot the I's, things are looking good for sponsoring um, a student project. Um, as long as I can find sponsors to match their gift, um, I'm looking outside of Moondow for for those matches. Um, so yeah, just just for awareness there. Um, for the DSI stuff, uh, things are going, albeit slowly. Um, we, you know, I successfully personally uh, updated a node and published a new node and claimed at the stations and royalty uh, verified those claims. So we've done at least one uh, <laughs> go of all of the, the steps. Nice. Um, 
but we, we had a, a group discussion on this um, and the plan for it is next week, basically do a workshop where we do all those things together as a group um, instead of relying on async and, and people figuring things out on their own and asking questions and responding async. Um, basically do a workshop on that and get a bunch done and, and uh, kick the tires. But as a project, um, uh, we'll put this in the report, but uh, just to mention it here, we discussed uh, wanting to basically extend the project into the next quarter and um, use that same allocation of, of rewards that we had provisioned for participate participants and basically um, defer that to the next quarter and so not give out the um, participation rewards until the end of next quarter. Uh, there, there's some reasons for that that I'll outline in the report, but long story short um, is we haven't really had a lot of time, like a good amount of actual time using the system as it was intended. Um, and we felt that we didn't have enough time to really warrant distributing that one ETH. Um, so right. that's where so we're at. So you're basically just going to write like a an interim report for the end of the quarter, but we'll just fold it over into the next. Like it won't actually. Yeah, be sorry about the, Sorry if you can hear the dog barking, but yeah, uh, I'll I'll write a report for where we are now, and then. Um, basically how we did against the OKRs and uh, discuss whether or not we can extend the current project or basically write a delta uh, for basically uh, not declaring it over and just kind of declaring, giving it an extra quarter to meet those OKRs and um, before we call it done. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And that, I mean, that's fine by me. I. I was arguing for that anyway, that I think that, you know, projects should be able to fold over. They should just provide yeah. like an interim report just so that we Yeah, know. and we, we talked about this in light of last week's town hall and, you know, comments from from uh, Manu and, and the discussion that we had and, um, you know, Royalty and Carla and, and me were all there. And um, so I think we've given it some some pretty good thought. Um, just need to kind of put it down on paper. Um, and also open invitation on Monday um, is when we're doing our workshop. It's open to anybody. Um, I've got a bunch of backup papers. If, if you don't have any research that you want to post, but you want to post, feel free. Also, there's no prerequisites for if you want to read a paper and comment or uh, verify attestations. There's no prerequisites, so um, let's let's kick the tires and um, use DSI and start populating the Moondao feed, and we'll do that on Monday. Cool. Um, do you did you put it on? Do you want to put it on like the sesh calendar? Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you get that set up. Um, okay. Here. There's a Carla put a, a post in. Um, in the research channel, which is where the public research channel, which is where we're basically coordinating um, this workshop. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'll just get the date from there. Put it on the dash for you. Thanks. Um, right, and so last but not least is Colin with the architect expansion and webmaster. Yeah, um, so this week um, I made some adjustments to, to the docs repo, um, also reviewed and merged a, a few pull requests there. Um, and then, yeah, just putting together the final reports for both projects. I'm almost done with the marketplace expansion one, and then I have the webmaster one completed. Um, so yeah, looking to submit those either today or maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah. It's, and it. um, are there any updates you can give us from the entity registration project? I know you're not the rocketeer, but yeah, on there. 
Um, so we're we're pretty much done with the entity side of things, and now we're working on the citizen um, like onboarding flow and the management page. Um, I'm putting those together right now. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to have everything done uh, by the end of the week. Might uh, go into the weekend a little bit, um, but we're prepared to put in some time. Um, so yeah, it's it's going good. And do you know if the intention is to submit uh, at this quarter as well, or is that going to be going in? I mean, I can check the date on the thing, but I, I wasn't sure. We're uh, yeah, we're trying our hardest to finish it before the end of the quarter. So okay. hopefully that well, works. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, so yeah, just open floor, I guess. Now I just want to give an update um, on the final reports. Uh, just as a reminder, it's very close now. Uh, the deadline is actually, I think, 8 p.m. Uh, EST, so like midnight UST on the 31st, so the end of the month. And the expectation there is that the final report be completed with everyone's uh, results, the Treasury transparency, and the allocation amount. Um, I would like preferably for everyone to have, I mean, it's really up to the Rocketeers. It's their discretion if anyone faces any consequences for not doing their give distribution. Um, however, um, it should be in, like there should be some distribution by the end of the month. And if it ends up being tweaked between, you know, the end of the month and next town hall, then that's fine. Um, uh, like we're not gonna be, super strict on that um but uh yeah if anyone if everyone could please just have something in um for their distribution before the end of the month even if they end up changing after then then that'd be really great uh and and just a reminder that when the final reports are ready uh please post them in the um submit report channel um so we still we still don't have any officially in i don't think yet um but yeah, just just basically two days left. So I know I'll be I'll be working a lot on uh, on getting those things, you know, all my contributions in there. Um, and also this goes for the community circle. Uh, that's open to everyone, not just rocketeers and moon settlers. Um, so uh, again, that that one, I. We won't need to have because you know I expect a lot of the contributions could be coming in last minute. Um, our core contributors won't need to have their distribution done before the end of the month, but it will be for the next town hall. Uh, but yeah, up until the end of the month, if anyone has community circle, um, I know we got a lot of participation last last quarter, and so. Um, you know, uh, members of our audience here, if you have anything you want to throw in. Uh, I know some of you were in there last quarter too, so um, feel free. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that's all my, my updates. Uh, can you give any updates or share any information about the second astronaut? Um, I can give some updates, yes. Um, there, there has been a delay. Um, actually, I'm not. I'm not quite sure how much I am at liberty. Yeah, to... If it's not, if it's not ready to share the details about what caused the delay, do you have any updates on when, give or take, we can expect uh, another announcement to come forward? I think that's more of a question for for you, Ryan. Yeah, it's just kind of some small detail things that we need to work out, but I think we should be able to hopefully reschedule in the next week or two. So, for the, for the a, full announcement or for like a status update next week? No, I think the full announcement. If some other hiccup Great. comes. Yeah. Also, y'all got to pay attention to the chat, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jumping around in different windows here. Yeah, I see um, Coffee Crusher. Thank you for asking. Your uh, 
Elisa, you're getting to spend time with uh, Christina, Nicole, and Susan. When what what <laughs> what's the story there? <laughs> Oh, I see. I see it earlier in the chat. Cool. Very nice. Um, any any other updates? Um, oh, I guess Elisa wants to jump up and tell us a bit more. Give me one sec. I invited her up. Okay, apparently she'll she's not able to join for a second here. Bill, I posted some papers in the research channel so you guys can let me know if that would be appropriate or whatnot i have no idea so guidance from you guys is cool too yeah, she is but i can't hear her can you guys I um sorry on my end it looks like she's talking but i'm just not hearing anything at all um so here can um can you try unmuting right now and see if it works? Okay, so um, can you guys right now? Is is this working right now? Yes, it's, uh, yes, it's working. Okay. So how I just said, um, in June, I'm going to spend some time with um, Christina, uh, Nicole, and some other astronauts because um, Christina is organizing an event um, called Space for a Better World, Romania. And I'm going to be there for, um, like, let's say two days. And I have, I'm going to have to spend time with Christina and also um, talk about some other events that we're planning um, for this year with space. So yes, I'll have to spend time with her and I'm really excited. That's that's super exciting. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> it's so you're, wonderful. You're, uh, you're in Romania? I mean, like you're there now? Yes, I'm from Romania actually. <laughs> and we're doing a space event in June, and it's really exciting because we're going to have astronauts from NASA. And I'm also, last year, I was also at the Space Fest. I met Christina. It was it was really cool. And I even got the chance to talk in front of the astronauts, ask them a question, and it was great. <laughs> it was wonderful. I still, I'm also in the Space for a Better World the Romania trailer, which is, which is fantastic. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Nice. Uh, looks like Manuel will be joining you there as well. Oh, really? Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. I'm there going to be go. there. I'm going to be there for like two days, to say. And yes, I think yes, yeah, around two or three days, and I'm also going to be with Christina and talk and share thoughts. I just said. So yes. Very cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm excited for you. Yep. Um, and for sure, I'm gonna post here some pictures and videos, and I'm also trying to 
interview some astronauts like Nicole, because last time when I was at the Space Fest event, that's how it's called, um, I didn't get a chance to to meet to meet also um, Nicole and other astronauts because I had to go unfortunately. But I met Christina and also her um, friend that's also working with her. Um, Wanna talk her? She they're they're wonderful people and they're really cool and yes. Very nice. Um, I also see Manuel is requesting to speak. You know, hit him up. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yep. Nice. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say hi. I, I didn't know that you're in Romania right now, Lisa. Yes, Which, I'm, I'm Romanian. I'm from Romania. Yeah, funny story. I was I was born in Germany, but my dad is also from Romania, so we are uh, regularly there. Uh, and actually, last year, uh, when Christina organized the um, the space event in Romania with the Politecnica there, uh, I, I originally wanted to support her with it. But then decided not to because I had a, a bunch of other things that I need to needed to handle. Uh, so definitely keep me in the loop how how we can support there. Um, because yeah, it's 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 amazing. There's not not a lot of you know space friends in Romania, but I see a lot of potential there. Um, <clears throat> because especially when it comes to decentralized space, because there are really skilled blockchain developers in Romania, uh, really skilled engineers, aerospace engineers as well. And uh, yeah, I saw all the all the you know all the photos from the event, so it was uh, really lovely uh, to see the spark in the eyes of you know so many young young people and kids just you know opening up the final frontier also for a country like Romania. I think this is super important. So uh, and it's actually also a good um, how can I say it a, a good alignment with the plan that I have in any other case as well. Um, because I will stay in Berlin for the Berlin Blockchain Week and do some DSI stuff here. And then I have, uh, after May, I have a, a month, yeah, free time where I can decide where I want to spend my time. So I would love to uh, come to Romania for a month and, and chill there and help uh, with the event and bring more people together, make something cool out of it and meet you all in person there. And then in July, uh, there's also the uh, this uh, space pop-up city in Georgia. So I can directly take the flight from Romania to Georgia, which is like more nearby than, you know, Germany right now. So yeah, cool, cool things that are happening. Um, yeah. So keep me in the, keep me in the loop. This, you know, these were like the things that I wanted to share uh, right now here on the open floor. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful to hear that your dad's from Romania because I'm Romanian and I'm right now in Romania um, and it's really cool and even um, my aunt is going to meet Christina for the first time in June because um, in June last uh, last year when I met her I was only with my parents and stuff and yes also here in Romania are lots of people that are interested in space and I saw lots of kids to be honest at the event because they were in June with their schools and stuff, but it was really wonderful. And I don't think um, this space even in Romania right now, it's on the we on their website because um, I just know a few things from Christina about it, but I'm I'm sure it's gonna be like in June, like, um, I'm not sure, the, I'm, I don't know the date exactly when the event is gonna be, but I think it's gonna be in June for sure. and. Um, if you're going to be there, maybe we can meet in something because I'm also going to be there for two days, how I just said, and talk with Christina. And yes, <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. Awesome. Be beautiful. Yeah, I think the event will be in uh, in Bucharest again, right? Yes, um, for sure. Yeah. And, and where are you? Where are you located? We 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 story in an anonymous Discord crypto Twitter space. If you wanna uh, if you wanna hold up your anon anonymity, uh, let me know. Yep. Sure. Yeah, because my 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 family was uh, originally from Bacau. Oh yes, I know that. Do you know that? Yeah, cool, yes. cool. I've so, never been uh, there. I might visit that place. I'm also trying to visit Brasov in some that city in Romania. Um, I had a plan for April, but I think I'm going to change it for another month. But yeah, 
Yes, I know that city. In yeah, um, right. I'm not. Really, I kind of live a bit far from from where the space pass is gonna be, but um, I'm gonna be there for sure. And yes. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me know, letting us know. And um, yeah, I will also just sync with Christina uh, what the plan is then in June. All right, guys. Radio. Yeah, Do you also want to join uh, the space for Romania? Michi, Ben, Ryan, Colin. Yes, it'll, it'll be fun. Uh, join us. It's, it's perfect fit. First Romania and then straight to Georgia for the pop up. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm still recovering from, from Denver. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm no, uh, no excuses. Really, we, we, we haven't met there. We haven't met there. We need to, we need to meet again. I know, but I'm just, uh, gravel stresses me out so much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta drop out here too. He, yes, he me too, right now. Um, but yeah, great, great town hall, guys. Thanks for, for all the updates. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll meet again next week. Yep, for sure. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good weekend, John.